Hello there, uh, it's me Tom with another Serum tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at that sound which is a kind of um, plodding arp uh, lead. Uh, it's very similar to the one that you can hear in this track. Um, so yeah, it's actually based off of a preset um, which I'll show you in a second. Um, a lot of that has been done by the preset, but I just wanted to go through uh, what's in there and the small changes I made to bring it closer to that sound. So we've got uh, the blank instance of Serum here, and um, we want to open up one of the Pluck presets. It's um, the FMMY um, preset by Steve Duda. Um, so <clears throat> starting off, we've got this wave shape here. I'm not sure which one it is. For some reason, it won't tell me which one it is but um, it's sort of like a really busy kind of sign but it spends half the time on, half the time off, like it's weird. Um, but the small changes I made to that um, were to add another voice, uh, obviously changing the detune, and put it in sync window. So uh, just to kind of move the waveform on a little bit more. Um, so we've got this sound. Um, so a couple of things I want to point out in this patch are the LFO controlling the wavetable position, um, the velocity controls, uh, which one is it, the envelope 3 over here, um, the decay of that, uh, and then it, envelope 3 itself controls uh, the white noise, and envelope 2 controls the fine tuning of the oscillator. I've also added a um, saw wave uh, I've made a couple changes to that this is just to kind of boost out the sound a bit more so changing the detune amount there and then putting it in bend plus um, just kind of cut down the sharpness of the wave a little bit so without that So um, if you wanted to get really nitty gritty with like layers, you could maybe have two separate patches of these oscillators and apply some different um, effects to just this one. But um, just for the one patch, it just kind of fills it out a bit more. I've made a couple of changes to the um, envelope in mine. I've turned up the decay to um, just under a second here, at about 800. Um, and then I've turned up the release to about 700 milliseconds. Uh, and then you can hear the kind of ringing uh, quality that the sound has. Um, if we take a look at the effects, um, basically we've been given some reverb and some compression here. Um, you might want to play around with the reverb a little bit to suit your needs, um, as well as the compression. I think t making it a bit um, harsh with the threshold could help a bit. Um, and then you might even want to put on some delay um, with a bit of a longer delay just to fill it out a bit more um, I, you could also look at chorus and phases and stuff which are very kind of typical of these sounds but um, yeah this is what I used uh, I used quite a lot of filter automation um, and I did a little bit with velocity here um, it's something I need to get a bit more uh, active at doing, but um, it's a really good sound for layering as you can see, I mean I've just gone in, um, I started with just one of these layers and then found that two worked a lot better and then just kind of three um, pushes it to be more intense. Uh, so, uh, But yeah, there you go, that's pretty much the sound. Uh, not changed too much from the preset, but the last video on a new wave sounded really well. So I thought you might be interested to see this one as well. Um, uh, thanks for the good feedback, and let me know what else you want to see. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.